What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying a really cool jig. I'm going to be using two different colors of chenille and a weaving technique to create a two-tone body. So I'm starting off with a 1 16th ounce white jig head. I've put some eyes on there. And I'm using a black UTC Ultra Thread 70 denier. So we're just going to start the thread right behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. For the tail, I'm going to be using two pieces of chartreuse marabou. So we're just going to line up the tips of those feathers and tie that in right there at the point of the hook. We want the length to be about the length of the hook. So we're just going to tie that down, give it a few good turns, make sure it looks good, and then continue turning that all the way up to the head. I like to keep it as flat as possible to make sure we have a nice level body. Once you get it up to the head, you can cut that off. And now we're going to clean up these fluffy fibers and bring the thread back down to where we tied in the marabou. See if you need to straighten the tail at all. That looks good. Now I'm going to take a piece of crystal flash. I'm just going to fold that in half a couple of times and I'm going to tie half of that in right here about the length of the tail just on this one side. Tie that down good. And then I'm going to take the other half and tie them in on the other side. This is a good way to preserve materials so you don't waste anything. Tie those down, make sure they're in the right place. If you need to realign them, you can. Now I'm going to take the scissors and cut those so that each fiber is individual. Now I'm going to cut it to length. There's just one that's slightly longer. There we go. And it looks like I missed one of these, so I'm going to cut that and separate them so they're not in the same spot. We want these crystal flash fibers to be kind of on top of the jig because the fish will be looking at it from below. Give it another good securing wrap. For the body weave, I'm going to be using one black rayon chenille and one pink crystal flash chenille. So we're just going to tie those in both on the same side of the hook. Instead of on top, we're going to do it on the side, and I'll show you why soon. So just tie that so that the ends go about up to the head. And make sure they're in the right place. When they look good, you can whip finish. We're going to need the thread out of the way in order to do this body weave. So cut the thread. Now I'm going to turn the vise toward me and adjust the camera so you can see better. Alright, so this is going to be the weaving process. First I'm tightening the vise so that the rotary function doesn't turn anymore. So we're going to take one color in each hand. I'm going to be using pink on top and black on bottom. So we're going to start by crossing those to opposite sides. Bring the black one around the back of the pink and over the top, back under and then the pink one straight across. Do the same thing. Black one behind the pink. You wanna make sure you're keeping constant pressure on these so that they don't fall apart. Bring the black over top and back under and bring the pink across again. Again, black behind the pink, up over the top and back under straight across while bringing the pink straight across. And if you keep constant pressure on this, you should have a pretty straight line. This can be really difficult to get used to, but you'll get it with practice. And you wanna press it up against the last wrap each time. You can see that it keeps slipping. We just wanna keep constant pressure to make sure that it stays. And really take your time on this. Bring the black up behind the pink over and under, and go across, 
Just keep repeating this until you get up to the head. And once you get to the head, you can pinch those together and hold them with one hand while you grab the bobbin with your other hand. Grab the thread with the same hand you're holding the chenille with and just do three wraps of thread right up against the head of the jig. You want to press with enough pressure to get it under the chenille. And now we're going to do a wrap over the chenille once the thread is secure. And again, up over the chenille. And that should keep it in place. Now I'm going to bring the camera back. Alright, so this is what it should look like. It may look a little messier on your first few tries. And now we're going to bring the thread up in front of the chenille just to keep it in place. And we can cut off the chenille and the tag end of that thread. Take your time here to make sure you don't damage the chenille. And there we go. Now we're going to do a couple more wraps over the butt ends to make sure nothing slips. Now we're going to whip finish. You want each whip finish turn to be right up against the head so that it doesn't go on top of the chenille. And cut the thread. And there you have it. So it looks awesome dry. Let me get it wet to show you what it looks like. So as you can see, it's a super cool jig. Go ahead and try to tie this up with your favorite color combinations, and you should catch tons of fish. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing.